Good morning, I'm Brooke Hapes. Continuing coverage out of Kenosha. Police were called to a home for a domestic call yesterday afternoon and police shot Jacob Blake while he began to enter a vehicle. Blake was taken to the hospital via flight for life. At last check, Blake is still alive and in serious condition. Overnight unrest erupted as protesters clashed with police. Widespread damage from looting and demonstrators could be seen. We don't know if there were any arrests. The Republican National Convention starts today. We have a better idea of what the week will look like. The theme is honoring the great American story. President Trump will be in Charlotte today for the nomination vote. Delegates will be tested for coronavirus. There are several key speakers today, including former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley and Donald Trump Jr. President Trump himself is expected to speak every night of the convention. Okay, it's going to be hot and humid today. The tiniest threat of a daytime thunderstorm here. It looks like it's going to be especially later on tonight to the south and west. Some of you, we have to see exactly where those are going to track. There's still a couple of question marks. If you get in under one of those later on tonight, could bring you a gust of wind, possibly some hail, and, of course, downpours. Otherwise, today, 90 degrees, hot and humid. For tonight, those scattered thunderstorms, especially later on and especially to the south and west, the way it's looking right now, 68, some of those may have to keep an eye on. For tomorrow, straight thunderstorm possible. That's not an all-day thing, 82 degrees. Now, as we go through the next seven days here, we'll keep that chance of a hit or miss storm going Tuesday night, Wednesday. Wednesday would especially be kind of to the north and east. And by the time we get to Friday, that's a cool front that will actually give us some relief for the weekend. Now, if you want to watch the radar, track those storms and see where they're going, we have that on our news app. It's free in your app store.